Randy Rivers family. Hey, how are you? Tiffany McCure here. I'm coming to you from the park. And so I'm going to turn the phone around soon so you can help me watch my kids. But I wanted to share with you something that's on my heart. And I feel like God's just impressed it so deeply that I feel like a lot of us are having the same sort of stream of thought as far as this topic goes. And that is the fruit of the spirit and the topic of gentleness. And especially for all my sisters out there, I mean, you just look around. I don't do a lot of TV watching at all or movies or anything, but I know that what will set us apart as daughters of God is a gentleness and a quiet spirit that still just exudes a strength that could only come from knowing who we are in Him, whose we are and who we are in Christ. And so God just showed me a few lionesses, if you will, in the Bible. They didn't have to roar all the time, meaning they didn't have to exert control over people or exert their authority in such a way that it's off-putting. But when they roared, they roared. And most of the time, though, you'll see these personalities, these female personalities in the Bible were gentle. And so I want you to sit back and sort of relax and meditate on what I speak over you as far as these, I think it's five women in the Bible that God pointed out. But I'm going to speak over you, and you, I'm sure you'll identify with at least one of them, as I do, and or maybe even more. And just enjoy. Just enjoy the encouragement. I want to speak over you in this gentleness. Don't be ashamed of gentleness. And I'm not talking about the counterfeit of that fruit of the Spirit, which would be, you know, timidity or letting people walk on you. That's not gentle. Gentle is a meek and humble heart which is always how Jesus comes, right? He always comes as a meek, lowly, just humble servant. But you know, you know, when you meet with Jesus, there's always strength. He always holds authority. He always has just a countenance of power. And that's what I'm talking about. So, so I encourage you to dive into the scriptures and, and really read through the lens of what God wants to speak to you through personalities in the Bible. Never read the Bible through current circumstances as far as like how you should interpret it based on your circumstances alone or past experiences because that will give you a lens of negativity. And I'm talking about negative circumstances, right? You don't want to ever read the Bible with a lens of negativity. Always read it through God's love and looking for Jesus. Jesus is all throughout the Bible. All right, so let's, let's watch the kids, and I'm going to speak over you encouragement. I love you guys. To my dear sweet sisters in Christ, as I sat in the quiet with our Lord, He infused me with memories of our spiritual mothers the ones we've read about or maybe even glanced over within the pages of the greatest love story ever written, the Holy Bible. And with tenderness of heart, he's asked me to pass on the reminder. Be reminded you've received an inheritance not of this life, a royal destiny only a daughter of the living God may walk in. So as I remind you of the spiritual mothers from whom you've received the same kingdom DNA, I'm believing it will ignite a spark in your heart that lights the way even brighter, even clearer to where your Savior has been beckoning you since before you were a twinkle in your earthly mama's eye. To the Sarahs, with perseverance, you resolve to continue on in faith until the day your promise comes to fruition. You have a gentle heart toward family and the reward for your perseverance will surely be the multiplication of spiritual fruit beyond measure. To the Esters, with compassion that comes from a heart of wisdom, you see the big picture and the intricate details. Your heart posture of surrender produces a softening of hearts around you. So with ease, you find favor. The reward for your compassion will surely be authority in the earthly and heavenly realms that releases prosperity of soul to those who come in contact with you. To the Ruths, with faithfulness, 
You count the value of kindness more precious than all the wealth of the world. You provide covering for those in a wilderness and pray your way through any storm. The reward for your faithfulness will surely be dwelling in high places of abundance while your life reveals testimony of your faithful God. To the Lydias, who trailblaze without fear, in humility of heart, you see there is always a way for the way maker. You provide strong shelter for those of weaker faith and build up the household of faith in every act of hospitality. The reward for your humility will surely be the claiming of any territory to which your heavenly Father leads you. And to the Marys, who devote their every moment and every breath to the giving and receiving of what heaven is doing, you walk the narrow path of holiness and the glory of God is a well. You simply dip into it at any moment, keeping your flask full. The reward for your devotion will surely be the trust of your God who delights in revealing the secrets of his heart to you because you truly know him. Shalom.